bye bye. Aye, there's not much left now. It looks very strange without the shed. I've been staying well clear because of the asbestos roof that's getting taken away the mara. It's just what you have to do with that asbestos stuff. When it was coming down, you know. But aye, it looks very weird without that there now, like. <laughs> Alright, oh I am back from the Highland Show. Back to reality. Well, I was working all week, uh, apart from Saturday afternoon and Sunday. I went along to the show on Wednesday night and uh, got to the Young Farmers Dance. And then I was back on the Saturday taking part in the tug of war. And then on Sunday, I finally got to see the show which was very nice. It was very good. Fairly enjoyed looking around the place, meeting everybody. There's a lot of people that met me. Uh, quite a few photos have been taken, so if, if uh, you met me and you had a photo taken with me, feel free to tag me on Instagram or whatnot. Uh, so many faces, so many people. <laughs> um, Aye, ah, very, very interesting uh, meeting everyone. As I say, never meet, met anybody until after lockdown was finished and all these agricultural shows started. But the Highland Show was just daft the number of folk that met me there. From all over. <laughs> but uh, aye, back to this. The shed has been knocked down and it has been prepped, ready for a new shed at some point. A wee calf shed. At least the shed isn't going to fall down anymore. And I am mucking out the buyer now. Not an awful lot of dunk. I do wish that would stop doing that. I know there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a stupid sensor. Um, but I not a lot of dung in here. But my sister needed a shift of calves, so this is to get mucked out. And then she can start moving the young calves into the shed. And then that means she's got more room for the young calves in the wee Solway separation pens in that shed there and round in the old cart shed. This is the last of the calves that were in the shed. They're too young to move on so they're just standing outside waiting on this getting done. So they'll get slotted back in once it's mucked out and had a couple of bales put on. Yes! So that's what I'm up to. <laughs> so another day on the farm. Last night. Yesterday afternoon I ended up changing some blades on the chopper. It takes a bit of fiddling to do that. I've got to get them right. I've got to get them lined up right. Uh, handy hang the torque gun. Just wrapping the bolts off. And this and that. But today I am emptying, today I am taking the last of the feeding out of this bunker, pit, whatever you want to call it, putting it outside and putting the feed that has arrived in the shed, but the problem is this shed here is a mix, so this is a mix of dark grains and beet pulp. So. What has happened today is beet pulp has arrived and there's supposed to be a load of dark grains coming around about the same time. And what's happened now is so that load's arrived and somehow I don't know who's in charge but they need their boss booted has lost the other load. I don't know how you can lose a load. I don't know how you can lose a load of feeding, but they have. So I need to, because of the way the weather is right now, absolutely pushing it down. 
Oh, it's a wee dry spell at the moment, but you can see the yard's wet as hell. Uh, I need to get this feeding away before it gets all wet and swollen and well, it'll go off. So I need to empty this, put this outside, put the load of feeding in the shed and then put this back in and then when the next load of feeding comes out, comes, when the next load of feeding comes, which could quite possibly be next week, because, well, could quite possibly be next week because they lost the load and it takes a wee while for an order to come, rip everything out again and then put it in as a mix. You can see how that could be a bit of a boy. <laughs> Aye, so that's uh, this morning's dollars, plus, despite there being quite a lot of rain, there is a slight shortage, in, there's a slight shortage in our water supply, so we're currently getting ready to go out onto the moor and go and rod some of the spring uh, pipe work, because over time it does get a bit silted up, this, that and the next, or peat, I don't know, a mixture of things could be causing the, the water to slow down coming to us. Uh, which isn't ideal on a dairy. Um, but we've got water at the moment, but we're, we're noticing that it's down a bit. So before things go majorly wrong, we better sort it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's happening here on the farm. All after the Highland Show. <laughs> so I'm keeping busy, could be doing a bit of recovery time, but yeah. Farming. <laughs> you need a break from your break. <laughs> nah, bugger that. Go on with it. Alright, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time and keep you updated. Cheers, guys.